Hello everyone, this is Brent. Just wanted to uh, take, do another take on our layout management. The first take uh, was a little bit more of a exercise in configuring our OBS screen recording software and uh, now I hopefully uh, have it set to where it's a little bit more smooth and streamlined and don't have all the glitches. But, uh, you know, it, it's a little bit of trial by, you know, fire here as I'm just trying to get uh, this content out for you and show you guys how to do the layout management. Uh, first off, uh, thanks to everyone for your input and excitement about this new feature. We've been working on it for five weeks or so, and uh, it's been, been a uh, d pretty complicated challenge, one of the harder projects we've worked on as we're really trying to uh, stretch the bounds of what... Uh, um, browser-based windows management and such can do so um, appreciate your patience and uh, hope you guys are as excited about this functionality as I am uh, it's it's been something that's been on the back of our you know, minds for a while and I think you know we're, we're excited with the result so if you guys remember what we used to have was uh, just a basic capability for windows uh, management here where it's mostly just a responsive uh, setting that would let you kind of drag and drop the windows within the dashboard as well as toggle them on and off and uh, adjust them kind of on a, a more basic level. Still pretty advanced I think in terms of the world of uh, you know browser-based apps but uh, we've taken it to the next level because I think every trader that I've met including myself has uh, multiple screens and being able to break these pieces apart and not only that have it remember where you start off every morning is uh, pretty valuable for you know those uh, m mornings you might be running late behind things and not only that it's just a hassle to reconfigure. So now we have the ability to uh, have multiple uh, different options. We have primary, we have optional, and we have dynamic. And what these are is the the, the idea behind these are that you have your primary desktop display uh, this is going to be the one you use day in, day out, and generally are not going to have many different changes. Uh, when you load in uh, your URL, you go momo.momedic.com, launch it, uh, you hit primary, it's going to pop up your settings with all your components displayed across Windows as you need to. Um, as you can see, I'm actually using it as a web app, which uh, is a cleaner experience and removes like the URL bars and gives it that app-like feel. Um, that you can kind of see here. If you need more details on that, we have a blog post on this and it's called uh, Install Momo as a PWA. Um, but back to the you know, topic at hand, what, what have we done, what have we changed, and how does it work? So dynamic would be your experience that you're most familiar with. And when you unlock it, you're gonna have this toolbar functionality that lets you drag and drop things uh, a little bit, uh, you know, very similar to what you used to have. Um, similarly, you, you'd be able to reset it, and it's going to snap it back into that experience uh, that you're, you're familiar with. Um, it, it's going to give you the auto scaling and, you know, just a very basic uh, experience that, um, you know, all the users are familiar with, and we wanted to make sure that, you know, people could fall back on that as needed. Uh, your other options are these primary and optional, which I mentioned, and the way you would set those is you effectively would just, um, if it's locked, you unlock it, you make your changes that you want, you drag your components around, and um, let me do that, I pick this one, you, you drag your components around, like say you want to move it over, uh, let's say pop it out here, want to pop it out, save it. You can save it then, give it a few seconds because we are saving to the cloud, make sure that that uh, saving is kept and persisted. Then, then you, you could go back and then let's take it again, we should have that component popped out off to the side. So now you'll be able to have those settings, you know, not only recall where they fit onto the display, but also they'll remember if they're off the display. So if you have multiple different screens and you want to have, let's say, popular and alerts and things like that on your main display, and then maybe discovery down here, that's certainly within the realm of capability of Momo. Um, 
super exciting, super cool, and you know I think we're pushing the bounds uh, of uh, what browsers and web apps were meant to do. But at the same time, we think uh, this is where everyone's going. So uh, to return that, as, as I mentioned before, you could just un unlock it and return, and then you, it's going to snap back into that, uh, prime, that uh, previous experience. Um, what am I missing here? Also, all these settings, if you, if you go in and let's say you don't want to see popular, you don't want to have maybe quotes available, you could actually save that and um, it, it will actually re now remember that you haven't chosen your, uh, you know, these same settings. So now when I go back to optional, you should see that these are no longer enabled, right? So that's pretty cool. Not everyone loves all the different components. I think uh, most of you do, but uh, as, as you're looking at cleaning things up, you could certainly uh, remove and disable those components that you're not necessarily interested in. Um, Let's see. The other thing that we still have, or you guys may or may not have experienced, is that we have the ability to do full screen within a uh, the dashboard. Uh, this is still available, and, and nothing's changed here. So if you if you want to just have a full full screen experience of a particular component, you could do that. And of course, you could you know, just pull it off and and do something similar off the side of the screen. Um, again, so when when you Close Momo. You're done with it for for the day. You're finished trading. You, you've uh, you know, you know, hopefully book some profits. You you wake up in the morning. You're gonna launch momo.mometic.com, and it will remember your last setting. It should bring up uh, the ex exact settings in in window placement. So for example, I, mine would be primary, and this was like a test example. Uh, I, I would load all these components here. Maybe have my brokerage down here, and then uh, uh, account exchange. And then you know have Momo down here with Discovery, so I can kind of get a good lay of the land. Uh, that that's that's the the vision, and so far so good. It seems to be working really well. Uh, one thing that I want to be sure that you guys remember is that these are pop up windows, and what pop up windows are, if you recall, with uh, browsers, they get blocked, and the browsers try to block them from you know pop up spam and everything else. Make sure you enable those pop-up notifications and, and make sure that that's available. Additionally, we have a setting that for going saving across multi-screens, which is part of a new working group in the W3C called um, Enable Windows Management. And what that will let you do is let us save the pop-up windows across different screens. So again, when you wake up, you have your configuration all set up and laid out as you need. Um, so. With that, uh, I don't have anything more else to offer on this, but you know, really what this is doing is this is laying the land for what we have in store from here. Uh, if you guys have, have been using it in the, the typical mode of, of this type of experience where you know this is a 5K monitor, keep in mind, it takes up a lot of space, right? And when, when um, it's hard to kind of do much more in this type of what's called a single page application. But now that we could pop these things off and move them and drag them around, I can now you know, do a lot more flexible things, have perhaps you know, hint charts and other things that are exciting that uh, you guys have been asking for. So um, that's all, all on the roadmap and hopefully uh, not too far away. So. That's it for uh, you know, describing and you know, trying to give you guys a quick walkthrough of the layout management. Uh, Ryan's certainly on support and he's doing a fantastic job and you know, we'll be able to answer any questions that you have. But uh, other than that, you know, let's keep going and uh, stay posted for the next release. Thanks everyone.